Hey, good morning, guys. It's Lou Jabro out in Lake Havis. We hope you guys are having a great Tuesday morning. Hey, we're on our way to check out a pretty unique uh, setup out at Havasu Heights. Um, it's a huge 1.2 acre property uh, with 6,000 square foot of garage space with double 14 foot RV garage uh, doors. The house is 3,404 square feet. It's a big property real private it's got a pool we're gonna go check it out for a client hang out with us check it out too and i'll talk to you in a minute all right guys we're out at 7642 north sierra drive out at havasu heights this is a huge uh, piece of property out here it's got a pool really nice house built in 2009 um it's got a um a huge um, RV garage and casita with work um, there's like a workroom casita two-story deal in the back of the, uh, the garage so we're gonna go check it out let's head in and see if they're uh, ready for us all right guys so I'm gonna do a voiceover because uh, everybody was talking so I'm just gonna kind of do a quick little voiceover this is out in Havasu Heights, if you don't know where that is, that's between the 40 and Lake Havasu, about eight or nine miles uh, outside of town. It's a rural agricultural zoned area, so you can have bigger homes and stuff and uh, have horses and things like that. It's really nice out there. So this is an owner builder. I have a three page amenity list. I mean, you put pretty much every upgrade you can imagine in this house. Um, it's got a gigantic uh, kitchen with granite counters um, I mean it's just the, the video and the pictures barely do it justice so it is a, a three bedroom two bath in the main living area and it has a split floor plan obviously it has a vaulted ceiling as you can see so you'll see some ladders in and around here that he's changing out all his um, smoke detectors today was the day and they're packing so there's some boxes in and around but house is super clean uh it's really really nice it's got a little bar right there with uh, solid surface counters so you can see it's like upgraded everything counters um, cabinets stainless appliances it's got a huge double door um, sub-zero fridge it's on um propane so they use that for the um, cook stove as you can see it's a giant stove so this is just a storage room off the kitchen it's just like a pantry So this is the master. So the house itself is 3,404 square feet. This is the master bath. It's got dual vanities separated, vaulted ceilings. It's got this huge walk-in closet with uh, built-ins. It's really nice, huge gun safe. Oh, and by the way, all the TVs you see in the house stay as well. Huge uh, double head shower. So this is the standard uh, Three car garage. It's got a 30 foot uh, deep bay and it's got eight foot doors. So, this is bedroom number two, hardwood floors. Using it as an office, obviously. You can see in some of these photos and videos that the walls are just super thick. Uh, they insulated every wall in the house, inside and out, super energy efficient. So this is the hallway to the other bathroom and bedroom. So this would be the hall, hallway bed, uh, bath. 
jetted tub. This is bedroom number three. It's another, uh, it's like a junior master suite. Walk in shower. So the whole backyard is, uh, has a covered patio. You'll see it's all stamped and stained concrete. There's no cool deck to chip. It's all really, really nice. The pool is beautiful. Uh, plaster looks like it's in excellent condition. Didn't see any cracks or chips or popping or anything like that. It's completely walled in. I mean, it's a pretty nice setup. So it does have a jacuzzi. See the propane tank over there. And then there's the big, big boy garage down below. There's a couple ways to get to it. This is the ingress egress down, down the side of the house. Uh, that other lot is just a vacant lot. So the septic is actually over in that corner, she said. So that's a vacant lot. So those are both, all three are 14 foot doors. Um, let me see, I had some notes here. And they are 16 feet wide each. So the whole garage measures 60 by 100. And there's a casita and workroom um, in the back there that are each 1,000 square feet and air conditioned. You'll see the whole place is insulated. So this is the downstairs bathroom, just like off the garage. And then you go into the casita, and it's got its own laundry room. Um, and storage as well all really nice tile so this is the downstairs living portion of the casita it's a thousand square feet has its own kitchen its own stove all stainless appliances it's set up really nicely And check out how wide the, do the window sills are. I mean, this place is super insulated. This is a clean room. It's air conditioned. He was going to build motors or something in here. He just never got around to it. So it's a sealed room. So this is upstairs, and she makes quilts. And this is her quilt room setup. It's also 1,000 square feet. Yeah, the windowsill. These things are super insulated. So it's got another bathroom up there. The walk-in closet it has another air handler and hot water heater uh, that serves this part of the casita. And then this is the out to the stairs. So this is another the side door. Uh, more steps up to the house. I mean, there's just endless possibilities with this place. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, call me if you need anything.
Hey guys, Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed that quick little walkthrough. Hey, I'll put a uh, link to the listing right below this video and you can get all the original pictures and all the listing detail page. Uh, all my contact information will be right below this video as well. If you have any questions or need some clarification, please feel free to reach out to me. I have a three page amenity list that they gave me. Um, <clears throat> and if you guys got any value out of this video, I'd really appreciate a share and a like. And, uh, you know, share this with anybody you think is in the market for a, a setup like this in Havasu. Um, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.